All right, here we go. FEC 107 at the Nova Road crossing in Port Orange. Lots of wind off this one, baby. I can use that when it's very hot. Six coming next here. All right, it's roughly uh, 8:25. We got FEC 206 coming here now at the Nova Road crossing, Port Orange, Florida. Let's see if we can take a little peek here. There's a U-Haul there. Check him out. There he is. He's coming. Mile post. 116. There you go. Right there. Crossing's down. They move these trains pretty quickly here off the sightings. You don't realize it, but they do. Once that southbound train gets by, man, this other train is moving quickly. Could hear some steel grinding there. There we go.
like that for an extreme close-up, huh? Nova Road crossing in Port Orange, Florida. On the FEC main line. Mile post 116. Some high box cars there. that one. Nova Road Crossing, Port Orange, Real Fan Rob over and out. Check out that snake. Look at that. What do you see? It's pretty long. I guess he knows I'm not going to bother him. But he's watching me, though. Oh, there he goes. Pretty quick. All right, it's about 10, 10 after 8 here on a Saturday evening at the Daytona Beach Golf Club, mile post 111. It's raining pretty, pretty good out there, so I'm sitting in the car, getting wet. But I got FEC 107 southbound coming here right now. Rain's starting to pick up a little bit.
Catch a train. Maybe I should get one of those umbrella hats and stand out in it, but then I'm gonna get my phone wet though. I guess I could switch back over to my GoPro. Uh, the GoPro Hero 7 is actually waterproof, but you know, if you get water dripping down the lens, then, you, then it's probably gonna focus on that water. Listen how smooth that is. That's TTX, man. They keep their wheels nice and round. Got a nice mix on this. You got auto racks, rock cars, intermodal. 107 usually does have a nice uh, mixture of uh, stuff on it. And I'll tell you, it's one of the most reliable trains that run. You could always count on this train between 7.50 p.m. and maybe a little bit after 8. You could almost set your watch by this train. Pretty long train today. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's FEC 107. Stay tuned for 206, as long as it doesn't start really coming down in buckets here. Rail fan Rob over and out. All right, it's almost 8.30 p.m. Saturday evening. Again, Wilder Boulevard, mile post 111. We got FEC 206 coming now. The rain finally stopped here, but I'm still sitting in the car though. A little bit of lightning there. The storm is moving out. I think I have enough light to get this video. Pretty sure I do. Now, on a side note, I did miss FEC 202, I think it was, this morning. I missed that one. I was on my way to get it. I thought I had it timed perfectly, but I guess not. Um, I was heading over to Big Tree Road behind Hart's Deli to get FEC 202 uh, this morning. And as I was like a few hundred feet from the crossing, there it went, blazing by. I thought I had it timed good, but I missed it. So it did run, but that'll be one less train in the FEC report for this weekend. And uh, I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, Serial Fan Rob, over and out. 
All right, it's about eight o'clock Sunday morning. Got the uh, northbound train coming out of New Smyrna Beach Yard. I think this is 202. Not sure, but I'll find out. Set plus one. Nice lighting. I think it's like in the mid 70s here right now. Pretty nice. It's been brutally hot though lately. right over there it looks like they're gonna do some rail work here Rob over now from South Daytona.